Hello and welcome, it's Francis here. Thank you for coming back to my channel and if this is your first time here, I bid thee welcome. I thought I would share a reading from my forthcoming book, Encountering the Dark Goddess, A Journey into the Shadow Realms. It will be available for worldwide distribution March 2021 next year. It's published by Moon Books. You can see the little moon on the back. And also available through John Hunt Publishing. If you live in Australia, I've got copies myself. You can order it from me direct. So I'm just going to flick through the book and stop about here. And we are page 155, Baba Yaga, the Slavic Initiator. So I'm going to start from page 154, reading the end of the chapter. Telling the witch that her stepmother had sent her to borrow some fire, Vasilisa was set to work to earn the fire or be eaten for supper. The first task was that Vasilisa had to clean the house and the yard, cook supper and pick up mouldy corn, pick the mouldy corn out from the good grain. After Baba Yaga left, Vasilisa set about cooking the meal while her doll attended the, to the other chores. At dawn, the white rider passed. At or before noon, the red. As the black rider rode past, Baba Yaga returned, bade three pairs of disembodied hands to grind the corn and set Vasilisa the task to do the next day, in addition to sorting out the black grains from the wild peas. Again, the doll did all except cooking the meal. Upon her return, Baba Yaga again set the three pairs of hands to grind the grain. The tasks for the third day were also very similar and included cleaning poppy seeds that had been mixed with dirt. While undertaking the task, Baba Vasilisa remained silent until Baba Yaga asked her if she was done and told the girl that she could ask a question. Vasilisa asked about the three riders to which she was told that they were servants of Baba Yaga. The white was a bright day, the red was a round sun and the black one was the night. In return Baba Yaga demanded the cause of a Vasilisa's success with respect to the tasks that were set upon. On hearing the answer, by my mother's blessing, Baba Yaga sent Vasilisa home, as she did not want one who bear the blessing to cross her threshold. Before the got girl got to the gate, Baba Yaga flung a skull with its burning eyes at her and said that this was the fire that Vasilisa's stepmother had requested. Upon her return, the light from the skull burnt the stepmother and Vasilisa's stepsisters to ashes. Vasilisa moved back to the village where she was taken in by an old woman, all the time feeding her little doll. One day, the Tsar bought a piece of linen that Vasilisa had woven and requested her presence. Upon seeing her beauty, the Tsar married Vasilisa and together with the old woman, Vasilisa went to live in a palace with her woolen doll in her pocket. The folklore and myth, in folklore and myth, Baba Yaga is portrayed as both the antagonistic and guide. As the aspect of the dark goddess, she is wide and gives gifts of splendor to the worthy, but most often she is the moan mo bone mother, the devourer of human flesh. Her home is built from the bones of her victims, and in many tales she is said to kidnap children and eat them for supper. This aspect of her character, though terrible at first glance, can be seen as a guiding principle as well as a doorway to initiation. You can read more about Baba Yaga, as well as 12 other goddesses, 13 in tale. 
in my book, Encountering the Dark Goddess, Journey into the Shadow Realm. Until we meet again. Blessings.